Suez Canal blocked again as container ship runs aground. Another vessel runs aground in the Suez Canal. Ship is successfully refloated after route was temporarily blocked, local reports claim, following ever given grounding in March. A casting ship became stuck 33 miles into the canal today, local reports claim, but the vessel was apparently refloated, avoiding a repeat of the ever given. The megaship got lodged in the Egyptian canal, causing a six-day rescue effort. It sailed out of the canal last month after its owners agreed a compensation deal. A cargo vessel reportedly ran aground in the Suez Canal today, briefly blocking the global shipping lane before it was refloated nearly six months after the Ever Given was grounded for six days in March. The container ship became stuck around 33 miles into the canal, sparking a rescue effort earlier today. The Suez Canal Authority said according to local media reports, four ships traveling from Port Said in the direction of Suez were delayed while rescue teams scrambled to refloat the vessel in Western Alba branch of the canal. Sources told the National it was a minor issue. Sky News Arabia later reported the ship, thought to be the Panamanian-flagged Coral Crystal, had been refloated and traffic resumed. It is understood to have been sailing for Port Sudan. It comes nearly six months after the Ever Given became wedged in the canal causing a six-day rescue operation and stopping PS42 billion of world trade. The rescue operation, launched when the container ship became stuck on March 23, ended in one person's death, sunk rescue boat and forced 48 ships to find an alternative route. Hundreds of ships were delayed as they waited for the canal to be unblocked and some vessels were forced to take the much longer route around the southern tip of Africa. The Suez Canal Authority last month announced the Panama-flagged vessel had successfully sailed back through the passage into the Red Sea without any issues. It was heading for Rotterdam when it plowed into the sandy bank of a single-lane stretch of the canal about 3.7 miles north of the southern entrance, near the city of Suez in March. After leaving the canal in August after being impounded, for three months while its owners organized a compensation deal with Egypt, the ship headed for China. The 1,312-foot ship, which carries cargo between Asia and Europe, was held in Ismailia for more than three months amid a financial dispute over compensation. After an agreement was met between the ship's Japanese owner, Shui Kaisen Kaisha Limited, and canal authorities it was freed to continue its voyage in July. While the terms of the agreement weren't released, Egypt settled on the PS397 million demand. 